Welcome back to Why in the Morning. I go by the name of Biomosis, or it's by on every social media platform. Today is Entrepreneurship Tuesday, and we are focusing on guys who have found that way to make their own money their own way. And some, some of them are even going the extent of employing other guys. Special thanks to Hilda Bathithi for that amazing interview. Uh, that was about photography, uh, focus photography in particular. You can find them on Instagram. But right about now, we are about to move on to the next. And this is about uh, beauty preneurship. They're kind of related uh, with photography, but Jocelyn is here in studio with us. She's a makeup artist. She's here to shed more light into this, into this line of business. So I'll let her introduce herself. Hi, thank you. Mm -hmm. I'm Jocelyn Achien mm -hmm. Adeka, uh -huh. um, 24, turning uh -huh. 25 soon. Uh -huh. Um, Ladies don't really feel comfortable. I know, with but the age, um, but age is there, uh -huh. nothing to hide. Uh -huh. um, turning 25 in July. Uh -huh. So, um, <laughs> <laughs> um, the number that will live with you for you your know, birthday. Okay. Even if I hide it when uh -huh. I die, it will be there. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh -huh. um, a beautician and a makeup artist. A beautician and a makeup artist. Yeah. What is the difference? Just um, beautish, beauty, everyone, everyone is a beautician. Even everyone you are a beautician. beautician. Yeah. You think I'm a beautician? You bathe, you groom yourself. Everyone oh, is a beauty. Right, right, yeah, right, so right. beauty starts with nails, because I do nails, I uh -huh. do manicure, pedicure, facial, uh -huh. and so then I came to focus on makeup, because uh -huh. I found that it's, it's a good field. It's it a has good, field. good money compared to nails, but mm -hmm. yeah. So yeah. money is the motivation board. I know. Has to be. You are here because of money, right? Yeah, everybody <laughs> here because of money. Yeah, white so. Channel on Twitter, white Fair 4 and Discord channel on Instagram, and white Fair 4 on Facebook is the way to reach us. Don't forget to leave your name and where you're watching us from. We like to give you guys shout outs, direct your questions to Jocelyn here, who's a beautician and a makeup artist. Jocelyn, how long have you been doing this thing? Beauty and makeup, um, all the two combined. Um, I'll say um, I started beauty when mm. I was still a child uh -huh. like since childhood i loved makeup and beauty mm -hmm. i could even steal my i could even steal my mom's makeup and mm -hmm. get me i've applied myself uh -huh. i was inspired because my mom used to have a big salon back then uh -huh. when we used to grow up so when we used to be on uh, school on holidays uh -huh. i could go help my mom uh -huh. so my mom could be like yeah do that client and get your pocket money so right. I, I got to love it uh -huh. since then even in high school during outings and stuff mm -hmm. people could line up in my cube mm -hmm. yeah pay me so you can do, yeah prep them for the yeah so the i day. used to get my pocket money even in school mm -hmm. even if you make makeup through yeah you started hustling a lot yeah so uh -huh. it's something i loved mm -hmm. it's my passion it's been my uh -huh. passion i loved it though it's not what i really wanted to do i i, I thought i'll do it as a part-time thing uh -huh. but yeah you have ended up doing it full time now i can't complain all right so uh Good. did you have to take it to school or you just learned uh, uh, from being at your mom's salon and learned with your friends in school i'll say uh, i started from my mom's salon mm -hmm. then after immediately i did my phone for i got another job uh, at safaricom mm -hmm. care safaricom care center mm -hmm. so i did it for like a year mm -hmm. before i my results this came out service, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. so um, when I went to college and I did um, front desk management and secretarial because I had applied for a job and they wanted someone to who have done that course. By the time I'm done with that course, the the vacancy ha had been taken. Mm -hmm. So I was like, oh, it wasn't my thing. Mm -hmm. I start, my friend told me like my friend is opening a salon and I know you know how to do this thing you still can come do it as you wait for your job mm -hmm. I was like okay I wouldn't mind doing giving it a try that was 2016 mm -hmm. so I worked for this woman from let's say after college mm -hmm. hustling hustling I worked for her for some time until mm -hmm. 2016 around October because we were struggling on payments and stuff and stuff. So I had created my Back field. Yeah, mm -hmm. my field aid, my client flow and stuff. So I decided like, I think I can do my thing from mm -hmm. my savings and stuff. I came up with my shop. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right, so right now you have your own shop. Yeah. It's a beauty shop. Yeah, at Timenti House. At Timenti House. Yeah. Is it combined for hair and everything? Or it's just um, I, d I didn't focus on hair because mm -hmm. I really didn't like doing people's hair because mm -hmm. it so consumes a lot of time and stuff. And energy, so yeah. I can just style. Mm -hmm. Like I do styling the hair, but I can't paint like plain. I'm not oh. talented in that. All right. So yeah. you style the hair because it goes hand in hand. With yeah, the because sometimes uh -huh. if I have a, like a bridal makeup, uh -huh. you might find the bride has not been styled uh -huh. and 
the hair is pathetic, so she'll be like, I hope you can style it before you do my makeup. So, right. yeah, I learned it from there. So you learned it from there? Cause so, the cool, I've just, uh, when I got into this industry, when I was still working on that woman, I used to take part-time classes uh -huh. to focus on, on major things like acrylic, because uh -huh. acrylic is something that it's deep. Uh -huh. uh, acrylic is a type of nail, like uh -huh. it needs some knowledge uh -huh. and bridal makeup. That is uh -huh. the only thing I've gone to school. Bridal makeup is different from day to yeah, day from makeup. Yeah, from like my makeup, this is just basic. Uh -huh. Yeah. This is basic. Yeah. Just so normal. what goes into, <laughs> into bridal makeup that is different? From yeah, bridal makeup is different because uh -huh. a bride looks different from other people. She has to look different yeah. from other people. It's she has to be day. outstanding. All right, so, yeah. uh, so how do you get to get your clients? How do you get your clients? Um, what, what is your style of reaching out to the public? First of and all, making your brand, uh, making people aware of your brand? Um, first of all, when I used to work for this woman, I, mm -hmm. I'm very social mm -hmm. and uh, I have a good client, clientele mm -hmm. communication. Mm -hmm. uh, so, when I quitted the job, I, I took like two months in the house and mm -hmm. clients were calling me, hey, I came over the shop and that woman told me you are sick and stuff. And I'm like, no, I just quitted because it's not working. Then, no, just get somewhere because no, I can't be done with anyone else. Uh -huh. so, so I got that is how the, you got yeah, to your first clients? Because the people my you clients, used to serve. Uh -huh. Yeah, so my clients are requesting for me. I think I can do this. So I told my mom, mom, this is this and this. Mm -hmm. So my mom was like... Is your mom still running a beauty shop, by the way? Okay, she's doing other things, mm -hmm. but she still has mm -hmm. her shop too. Mm -hmm. But not she doesn't major in it ma as much as back, uh, back then. in the day. Uh -huh. Yeah, so I was like, mom, I think I have a good number of clients. I think mm -hmm. I can do this. I can start this even if it's small. My mom was like, are you sure? Yeah. So she was like, do you have the capital? I'm like, yeah, I used to save when I used to work. I used to save. And when I was in college, I didn't touch money. my money. Uh -huh. So I think I have a good uh -huh. I can do it. Mm -hmm. uh, so yeah, that's how I started. Mm -hmm. And client referrals. If mm -hmm. I make you, you go then. Who did your eyebrows? Uh -huh. uh, I'll take you. So I'll give uh -huh. you her number. That's how I have been getting my clients uh -huh. all along. So word of mouth is really working yeah. for you. Uh -huh. Client referral, I can say it's, uh -huh. it's more better than, okay, my social media is not, I can say I get clients, but my clients refer many clients to me than uh -huh. even how I get That is the best way of marketing yeah. for you. Uh, what do you attribute this to? Why, why do you think people refer uh, other clients to you as well? Is it because you're social or is it because your work is just outstanding? I won't say that I'm not bragging, uh -huh. but I think when you love something... That is something you say right before you brag, you know. Right. No, I'm not bragging. <laughs> you know, people will be like, oh, okay. I'm we'll talking carry to on. take care. Yes, you see. I get you but some time I, you need to. Say, yeah. My mom used to tell me one thing. If you love something, do it with passion. Mm -hmm. So a key to client in the quality mungine and that's what I do. Mm -hmm. Like I'll do someone like Ile to, a, a walk in comes in but she will find her way back next uh -huh. time. She'll tell me, I can me put ten kit after uku na jomani kumbu kasa I'm like, oh oh I made your nails and you came back. So I think I do my best mm -hmm. to And sometimes you have to like yeah, nah, kumbu even Yeah, nah, kumbu even <laughs> if I don't remember you. So I, I I don't just make client to get money. I uh -huh. get client, I make my client to come back. Uh -huh. You yeah. want your client to come back. Yeah. You don't uh, work on the you client. You know many to get people people just work for money. They don't right. want to win client's heart. All right. Like I'm it's from, very important to Like I traveled to Dubai for a, a client called me there to work uh -huh. for her. So this is like, oh, she loved what I did. And because mm -hmm. she, she's having her engagement thing there, she was like, no, you're the one to come do me. So, so the yeah. client paid a flight for Yeah, everything. And accommodation. Yeah, I just, just came in to today. Just do their makeup. Yeah. Makeup is paying my people. Get it into is. the beauty business. Y254 channel on Twitter. Y254 underscore channel on Instagram. Y254 on Facebook is a way to reach us. Don't forget the hashtag Entrepreneurship Tuesday. And don't forget the hashtag uh why in the morning so my the questions that you get uh often i'm pretty sure yeah uh can you make me look younger do you get this on a regular i do because clients will, might come with a photo even of a nigerian a lafana kombia i want to look like this one mm -hmm. then uh, she's almost impossible yeah you will you'll find like maybe you know we don't look alike some have brown face some have long face but you have to tell her that you won't look exactly like her, but mm -hmm. you will look perfect to according to her. Lying is very important. I'm not See, lying, but uh -huh. because I won't tell you I'll make you look like me. Mm -hmm. I'll make you look good the way you are. Uh -huh. Yeah. And that is what you're going to do. Yeah. Can you make me look lighter? Is this something that you get on the regular as well? Yeah, I can make you look lighter, but mm -hmm. I wouldn't like making you look like a clown because mm -hmm. I wouldn't use a lighter foundation on someone who is dark. Mm 
-hmm. So I'll just advise you to do your own skin tone and yeah, unless it's the different type of makeup, unless it's a movie makeup or you have to have a certain look. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Uh, how does it make you feel? I can tell you're very melanated, by the way. Thank you're you. a true African queen. Yeah. How does it make you feel to see somebody who's dark skin uh, like us? And they come to you and tell you, I want to look lighter. How does it make you feel? I as even a have clients who come by and ask me, like, hi, um, you're a makeup artist, and mm -hmm. I, I know you can know where I can get bleaching mm -hmm. products. Products. I'm like, did you say bleaching? Mm -hmm. You're beautiful. Like, why do you want to bleach? Because I want to bleach, because my boyfriend wants me lighter, or my squad is, all them, of them are light skins and mm -hmm. they are on demand, and me, I'm like, all of them are light skin. So there are pressures that make this girls. That it's just pressure mm. and being naive and thinking that men being prefer light. Being naive is one of them. Yeah. Be, uh, they think like men prefer lighter women uh -huh. to, to dark. But I'll tell you one thing. The same men who love light skin, uh -huh. you'll find the other men loving dark skin. Uh, so yes, it's all about taste. It's all about taste. If this man has a taste. Because yeah. even ladies, uh, some like light skin men. I don't and know. others like yeah, dark skin taste, men. Yeah, Because everyone has a uh -huh. taste. And your taste cannot be mine or uh -huh. we might have the same taste. All so right. I think people live with the flow. They want to do what other people do. Uh -huh. But me can't encourage bleaching. Okay. May tell people, tablet to tell I'll remain the only melanin. Uh -huh. yeah. The way God may meant I it to me. I love melanin. Oh my you God. love melanin. You Very. look gorgeous, by the way. Thank uh, you. Another thing, uh, man, we have a problem as men. Why? We wait for hours, man, for girls to do their makeup. Um, so say I have five minutes uh, to wait for her. Uh -huh. What can she do in five minutes to make her look uh, like she did it for one hour? Cool. As a woman, mm -hmm. I think <laughs> I think you have to plan yourself. Mm -hmm. Like me, if I'm to be here at seven, mm -hmm. I'll wake up an hour earlier. All right, yeah. I get that. Hypothetically, we yeah, have you five have minutes. To, we have five minutes. Uh, just give us some tips, some quick tips on how we can. She can do it real quick. Like, uh, uh, um, sorry. Um, maybe it depends where you're going and how you want your makeup to be. Mm -hmm. So if if you just want a touch up, mm -hmm. you know, makeup the only thing that will make someone outstand we ladies know this mm -hmm. just the eyebrows mm -hmm. just work on your <laughs> eyebrows and do your lipstick <laughs> and go yeah uh, because i'm always seeing this <laughs> on instagram so, by the way eyebrows this eyebrows that eyebrows yeah, are very important eyebrows, you can have the best foundation and tone and stuff but if your yeah. eyebrows are crooked right. nobody will even notice your makeup but if you have your eyebrows are on point on fleek even if without <laughs> makeup and stuff mm -hmm. like, hey, that lady Cute. Right. Yeah, even some people even hi, I love your eyebrows, and I'm like, even men do. Sasa, mm -hmm. man, eyebrows. Well, like, oh my god, even noticing. men have started noticing eyebrows. Yeah. yeah, because I think eyebrows just ladies Instead should just work about on the their eyes. mic. Right. Eyebrows. Again, makeup is just the eye. Uh -huh. You know, everyone can apply foundation because kill uh, so them Foundation, every detail, match the, the eyeshadows. The uh -huh. plus, if you don't know how to apply eyeshadow, leave eyeshadow. Uh -huh. Like we say, me today's the pack eyeshadow. Uh -huh. If you don't know how to do eyeshadow, just leave it. Okay. Don't stress on Don't it. Don't risk it. Because so if you have five minutes, focus on the eyebrows. Just eyebrows. Focus on the eyes. Because eyebrows, you will uh -huh. work. Like if you're good in eyebrows, you'll do your eyebrows in two minutes. Uh -huh. Then your lipstick or uh -huh. your lip gloss, uh -huh. and you're out. Yes, man, we have the secret now. Yeah, and next time she's taking a lot of time, just tell her focus on the eyebrows. You, if babe, I, you know right. you're pretty. Just work on your eyebrows. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's enough. <laughs> I like yeah. that. I like that. Uh, so maybe we can uh, display some of your pictures, uh, some of the pictures uh, of your work as we line them up. Don't forget White Five Four channel on Twitter, White Five Four underscore channel on Instagram. No matter if I phone, Facebook is the way to reach us. Don't forget the hashtag why in the morning. Don't forget the hashtag entrepreneurship Tuesday. So we have pictures here. This is a graduation. Yeah, these are sisters. They uh -huh. did them like... They're twins. Uh, and they're not twins, actually. Uh -huh. Everyone was asking me, those twins are pretty. Uh -huh. Funny enough, they're not twins. Uh -huh. I did their late graduation makeup January. Uh -huh. Yeah. These are, so these they are graduated me. in December, but the party was in January. Yeah. That is... A uh, then they were going for a shoot and they're like... Uh -huh. On our graduation, someone who did our makeup, we couldn't do the shoot. So, uh -huh. someone, uh, I, my friend who I did her mm -hmm. graduation makeup last year referred them to me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. So, uh, I see this is you here. Yeah. This is you here. Yeah. All right. Uh, sometimes I know you do s amazing work on somebody. Yeah. You take a good picture of them, mm -hmm. and then they go ahead and put some 
filters on their pictures. How does it make you feel that somebody's um, putting some filter on Yeah, I've done like some few clients. Mm -hmm. Alafu, if they happen to send you the picture, mm -hmm. you're like, did I do this makeup or... Mm -hmm. And sometimes even if they go for a shoot, I'll tell the photographer, don't filter them. Uh -huh. Just send me the, the raw pictures. The raw pictures. Uh -huh. And sometimes there are many challenges. Sometimes uh -huh. I'll make a client, uh -huh. but she has a makeup artist friend. Uh -huh. She'll go post makeup by Stone. So uh -huh. she will not tag me, she will tag someone else. That is also another challenge. Yeah, that's that another do. challenge. So giving credit to someone who didn't work on her. Uh -huh. but. Me, I don't mind because after all, I'm the one who got paid. So <laughs> <laughs> you don't care about the credit. I don't care. You go. <laughs> all right. Uh, you you don't work with shady people as well. I like this picture at the center uh, with the water details. Yeah. You did this makeup. Yeah, I did. I'm guessing this. you're working on a project with a photographer. Um. Yeah, my photographer. We started. Mm -hmm. In fact, he's telling me to start a YouTube channel, and mm -hmm. I was like, uh, I, I think a YouTube channel. Everyone is running a YouTube channel, so mm -hmm. I was like. Then he was like, we can start a YouTube channel and you come out with something different. Mm -hmm. Like because YouTube no longer to what to make up an apakaraka. So you can if we come. can go back to that picture with the water. That picture with the water. Uh, this picture was mm -hmm. um, 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 demonstrating the what, what men were saying like if you get a makeup lady on makeup, the first mm -hmm. day take out for swimming pool. Mm -hmm. And we came out and told them like uh -huh. You guys, there is waterproof makeup. <laughs> all right, so, all right. So this is yeah, it. it's a waterproof This is what you're trying to yeah. You see, you can that. get to the swimming. Mm -hmm. You can shower and it's still in. I'm guessing it's more expensive than the, it is. the other makeup. It is because you can sweat on it and still wipe yeah. off the sweat. And the makeup is still intact. All right. So, uh, huh, waterproof makeup is here with us, guys. The swimming yeah. pool is not the way. So, uh -huh. so then we have the eyebrows. As yeah, well. I was trying so these to are different show, styles of doing yeah, I was just trying to to show how eyebrows should be lined. Mm -hmm. The front should be not be shade uh, darker than the the end. Mm -hmm. And yeah, there are different types. There are many uh -huh. styles according to your face. Mm -hmm. Some people look good with arc, some don't. Mm -hmm. Like me don't need an arc. Uh -huh. I have a round face for even sake. Uh -huh. So people So the shape of the face also determines, determines your eyebrows. Plus how you put your some makeup. have bushy eyebrows, some uh -huh. don't have eyebrows. So uh -huh. your eyebrows will never look the same, but they should always look flawless. At least eyebrows should be sisters, if not twins, <laughs> but not cousins or friends. <laughs> Sometimes I tell <laughs> I my friends <laughs> I tell my friends, if you don't know how to draw your eyebrows, don't uh -huh. just leave them. Just leave them. Yeah. All right. Don't draw them. What about the shaving? Them. I see people shaving them. To yeah, shave them. there's tweezing, there's threading, uh -huh. there's um, blading, uh -huh. and there's now there's microblading, which is uh -huh. super expensive. But uh -huh. ladies prefer that for those who don't know how to blade because microblading runs from 20k to 25k uh -huh. and it goes for. What is the difference? Microblading, it's a. Why should I pay 25k for it? Because it lasts like, it will like three years or uh -huh. plus. You never have to do your No, you never have to do. Just them. get a toothbrush. Yeah, you just <laughs> you're good to go. All right. Yeah. I see some sharp pointed nails here. Yeah, um, uh -huh. they are metallic nails. Metallic. Uh, yeah. They. This is metal. Uh, they're called metallic nails because of the feel, how they look. You you say they look like metal, uh -huh. but they are not actually metal. All right. Yeah. So it's the paint. <laughs> oh. They come. They come with that texture. <laughs> You are saying I need a girlfriend <laughs> so I can know these things. You need, right. you need, by the way. So <laughs> <laughs> I'm so shocked you don't have one. All you right. should bring her to me. You're so shocked that I don't have one. I'm so shocked you don't have one. <laughs> okay. Anyway, so uh, we see some different types of nails as well. Um, these yeah. are my models. Sometimes I just tell my friends like this weekend you mm -hmm. come for Oof. maybe if I'm doing gel at a thousand bob, I'll mm -hmm. be doing you at five hundred and uh -huh. we go for a photo Special shoot. Offers. Yeah, I do them for those my loyal clients, like their clients they'll make monthly like they just have to promote me uh -huh. even if i've traveled they'll wait for me to come uh -huh. they never cheat on me yeah. so <laughs> such faithful. clients yeah i do them uh -huh. then uh -huh. i call my photographer or i just get my good phone and we go for a shoot and i post them All right yeah nice one so when are the next uh, when is the next special offer um mostly i give offers when there's a holiday or like too bad mm -hmm. when I'll give offer because when it was International Women's Day, I wasn't around. I would love to give right. women. Yo, what do you call these ones? These are tips. Uh -huh. Yeah. You just uh, fix them and uh, get a clear, uh, a shimmer gel top coat. Uh -huh. Yeah. For those right. clients who love simple things. The big question is mm -hmm. is it possible to do household chores 
I do with these things. I wash. I don't have a house. Uh -huh. I wash. I cook. With your nails. Yeah. Do you have gloves? No, I don't. I How don't. does it work? It works. Do you have a sink here? I wash for you. <laughs> <laughs> it works really there's well. There's a sink right outside. We'll <laughs> it see. works really well because mm -hmm. when you're used to it, uh -huh. In fact, me, I'm used to long nails. Like, mm -hmm. I can't do without long nails mm -hmm. because of my work. Like, mm -hmm. sometimes the makeup, the, the nails need long, long nails to help mm -hmm. you. So I'm used to it. I wash, I mm -hmm. cook, I wash my sephurias very well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What about hygiene? Because I remember when I was in school, I was told, keep your nails short so you can be clean. I think girls are good at hygiene. Girls are good at hygiene? Yeah. You sure? I'm sure. 100%. Y254 channel on Twitter, <laughs> Y254 underscore channel on Instagram and Y254 on Facebook. Don't forget the hashtag Y in the morning. Don't forget the hashtag Entrepreneurship Tuesday. Jocelyn is here with us. Uh, she's about to share her social media handle. So if you'd like some beauty tips, she's a person to talk to. Your camera is number four. Your social media and have anyone as a contact. Now shop Kuleko. Um, thank you guys again for hosting me. Mm -hmm. um, my shop is at Imenti House Basement mm -hmm. Shop B6. Mm -hmm. um, we open from 9 to 8 p.m. Mm -hmm. Mondays to Saturdays. Sundays, um, if you've booked with us or you have a special occasion, mm -hmm. um, uh, Instagram, Joslin's at, at Joslin's underscore beauty bar. Mm -hmm. Facebook, let's not go there now. I think Facebook, I deleted the account for mm -hmm. some reasons. We c currently just on Instagram. Um, contacts are there, everything is written there. You can call us, you can visit us, we can come where you are, we are freelance, anything. All right. Yeah. Thank you very much. So I have some quick uh, questions for you before sure. we can end this. Uh, the first one is, uh, Imenti, you know what people say about Imenti? Eh? People say, but that's not what is there. <laughs> Nothing happened in Imenti. That video is a not Kenyan video, first mm -hmm. of all, and it's not, it's an old video. Mm -hmm. I think someone was just bored and stressed over personal issues. Then <laughs> he or she just woke up and said, like, Lo Imenti, I'm not jamming nine. People who need some. Yeah. Lo Imenti, I'm not jamming nine. So, come right. to CV. Okay. <laughs> what is that one product you can't work without? <sighs> one product I can't work out. Just one. Yes, just one. Just one. Mm -hmm. A pencil. A pencil. Yeah. All right. Uh, what is the most memorable memorable job you've done? Um, memorable Dubai. job. Yeah, Dubai. I think Dubai. Dubai. Is it? Yeah, because I got to work, explore outside, and had a vacation as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Uh, men's makeup now. A little bit about men's makeup. Uh, is there anything such as makeup for men? Yeah, there is. There is something like to do. the other time I came here with Denombo for interview. Uh -huh. I came personally because I was doing. His Shout makeup. out to Denombo, by the way. Yeah. He introduced me to the sister. Uh -huh. Yeah. So um, men's makeup is normally touch up. Mm -hmm. You don't make a man look like a woman. Mm -hmm. Men are just you're just brushing his eyebrows. Mm -hmm. Maybe a bit of uh, concealer, mm -hmm. kidogo too, because sometimes when he's shooting like a video, mm -hmm. the camera, the lighting and stuff, yeah, mm -hmm. just touch up. All right, a bit of just touch up. up. Yeah. All right, so uh, there's not so much, there's no big difference. It's just the same products, but you use them less. Yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah. Thank you very much for that answer. Men, now you know. Yeah. So this one time I went for a, a commercial shoot. Uh -huh. uh, they put some makeup on me mm -hmm. that I wasn't. That was I was so so much against. Mm -hmm. Then when we were done with the shoot, I had to now get back to my regular life, mm -hmm. walking and stuff. Then I started sweating and I felt like I was cracking. This mm -hmm. is something I've experienced firsthand. Mm -hmm. What do you think is the cause of this, and how can I, how can someone prevent this? Um, you felt sweating, and they were physical. After when I when I started to sweat, mm -hmm. I felt like I was cracking. First oh. of all, you're not used to these things, mm -hmm. and second, causes can be maybe the products are not uh -huh. good. Uh -huh. um, another thing, maybe she, she used the wrong makeup on your skin. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because they are like. Uh, two or three types of skin, like mm -hmm. uh, there's oily skin and dry skin. Mm -hmm. You can't So use, you need to understand the skin yeah, of the client. Because if someone is oily, you have mm -hmm. to use matte products on him mm -hmm. or her. And someone is dry, you have to use oily products. Mm -hmm. Because you can't be dry and I use a dry foundation. Right. You'll be like, there's something. So you need to understand yeah, the, skin the skin of your client. Yeah. It takes a while to understand your client it or you can just see. It takes a while plus uh, that's why you you Google a lot, uh -huh. you read a lot, you uh -huh. go to, you 
explore with other big makeup artists like uh -huh. you see me i'm just starting but there uh -huh. are big brands like for inatosha uh -huh. Kisha. Uh -huh. so you get to but me mostly i i follow a lot of even in my instagram you'll ne you'll realize that i'm following those big makeup artists from abroad like uh -huh. you know abroad makeup is they do it different from us uh -huh. yeah uh, so you need to always learn be reading yeah when i'm when i'm idle mm. you'll just get me on my phone even my friends will get Kiwewe na makeup, uh -huh. just going through the tutorials, the new things. Plus, makeup is new Evolving, every day. Yes. Every day, every uh -huh. day, there's something new. Uh -huh. So we have to know. So there's nothing like makeup is uncomfortable. No. Nothing like that. No. If it will be, uh -huh. I think I'll have gotten many complaints. <laughs> All right. So uh, thank you very much for coming through to Why in the Morning. Thank you. We appreciate you. One last time, your social media handles, and then. A message to the people out there who are looking up to you right now. It could be people who want to be makeup artists. It could be your potential clients. I don't know. Just pick one. Um, mm -hmm. I, um, on my Instagram handle again is at Joslyn's Beauty Bar. Mm -hmm. um, what I'll say is like, do what you think, not what you think. Mm -hmm. Do what you love mm -hmm. and do it with passion. Mm -hmm. And if you're doing something, do it to your best. Mm -hmm. Everything has their challenges. Mm -hmm. Because it's every work has a challenge. Mm -hmm. Office work, household, mm -hmm. what wakuzango, even the hookers, everyone mm -hmm. has a challenge. Mm -hmm. So don't don't be in a position where you feel you reach to your comfort zone. Mm -hmm. Once you hit there, everything mm -hmm. messes. Wake up every day knowing that you have competitors. Mm -hmm. Makeup is not easy or anything is not easy. Mm -hmm. Work towards it, strive towards it. Mm -hmm. I used to love makeup, I used to see people in makeup, I didn't know that. One day I'll work on a bride, one day I'll go somewhere and work. Um, but here I am, so just do what you love. Get mm -hmm. ideas, ask, don't feel bad to ask. Mm -hmm. Even me, sometimes I meet people with good money. I'm like, oh my God, they love the blush, which one is that? Because you don't feel like you know everything. Mm -hmm. Ask, ask them, where did you get it? How do you use it? Because it looks good on you. Mm -hmm. So always be humble, always know what you want. And above all, um, be prayerful. All to right. all my clients, thank you for always being there with me. Thank you for supporting me and correcting me where I've not done my best. Mm -hmm. thank, thank you very much, Jocelyn, for being an awesome soul, an awesome lady. Thank you. <laughs> and very well spoken, Jocelyn. Thank I you. I see why you get so many clients. <laughs> we appreciate you. This is Entrepreneurship Tuesday. We were focusing on beautypreneurship, and the person who was shedding some light onto this is Jocelyn. You can find her on Instagram as Jocelyn. Beauty Bar. Jocelyn Beauty Bar. Hilda Othithi is coming up next with another amazing interview, so don't touch that down.